Hello everyone, Luke Smith here. Welcome to another quickie reading. This is of too many games which happened um, uh, 2018 uh, in June. Exact, well, almost, um, yeah, just over two years ago. Today is Saturday, 29th of August. It is about 12 minutes past 9 in the p.m. and it is a nice Saturday. Well, not really nice Saturday because it's raining. Uh, it's been like that all week, roughly. Anyway, let's get get into the reading of too many games. What is wrong with this world? A peck on the cheek from a celebrity that one likes, po positively mind you. It is not not offensive to me, and that was Chris trying to rationalise the behaviour that got him kicked out. I did actually do a video about this. Um, in the same month it happened uh, about a, f a couple of years ago so I'm just reading about it now Too Many Games is, a, is an annual three day gaming convention currently held at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, PA Chris attended the, attended the c convention in June 2018 he wore the classic for day two he had, he had also brought along a baseball hat Due to the convention, considering coinciding with the Guard Dog Saga, members of the group Null included came to Chris's aid online after hearing of what happened, but ultimately nothing came out of their involvement bar planning to make sure Chris was supervised at the convention from then on. Yet he did actually have some like um, I don't know if it was like a friend or just someone who like hung out with him just to keep an eye on him or something maybe it was like a, a ween or something I'm not quite sure he had started the GoFundMe page to help cover the costs he ha as he had narrowly avoided foreclosure on his home a month before three people donated $120 Chris acted very inappropriately towards many guests there by kissing and or touching them especially those who took pictures with him. This eventually c accumulated in him being thrown out. Okay, so this is a picture of him um, after he's told he's been removed from the, from the con. There you go, doing the old praying to Allah impression there. Apparently that's meant to be like his defence curl or something, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got all of this. Really, this is quite short, but um, there's a lot of um, things to go through here. So let's actually get through it quick. Let me just click my um, uh, thing here. Okay, that's fine. At Lacan, I am here. Find me selfies, hugs, and smiles with and from me are free autograph card on the spot this weekend only 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 five dollars casual card yeah he had like a um not not really a booth but he tried to get money from people there as well because he, he he doesn't know how conventions work apparently an event coordinator at the con justin silverman of silvermania arranged for chris to have a guest Bag at the con. Which is weird because Chris is not a slippery or something. He's just like a normal nutcase. According to Silverman himself, he knew Chris would accept this free offer regardless of the GoFundMe outcome. Silverman invitation is that follows. Oh god, I have to read like little things, don't I? Damn it. Uh, I'll just read it up to um, the next bit. Despite proposing otherwise in his email, Justin did not authorise Chris to host a booth or and or or a panel salot. That's the thing because like he went there and did the um, the walk around booth sort of thing, trying to get money for autographs from from himself, and that was actually illegal. There, you're not meant to do that unless you have like a proper booth and unless you're important. So yeah. The 12:30 p.m. Sunday panel was mentioned. Mentioned was likely the Exploring Queen Culture panel hosted by 
Gab 50 Yen, yeah, G Gab 50 Yen, whom Chris would re reunite re re with at the con nonetheless. While at the con, Chris met many of his fans and posed for photo ops. He offered autographs to sale against con rules, like I said before, as he had no credentials to sell there. He also watched three panels and played games, including Halo. Okay, let's actually have a look at this, um, at these, um, things here. So this is what, read what Silverman said. Uh, I just messaged you on Facebook, but it looks like, but it looks like you reached out to us first. Saw you on TMG GoFundMe. I also subscribed to you. Unfortunately, we are all filled up with guests, hotel rooms and panels right now. If you contacted us months ago, which Chris should have done instead of like on the day, obviously. Um, cause yeah, you gotta give, give people time to actually get, get stuff done. You gotta do things well in advance, especially for conventions. Months ago, we could, could have had it figured out fully. However, we can offer you a guest bag and we'll try to squeeze you into a panel slot. I know a few people you know that are doing a panel by 12.30 p.m. on Sunday. At 12.30 p.m. Sunday. Maybe you can join them on it. I can give you the details later. You're in Virginia, right? I'll see if anyone's driving past you to come up there. I know a few guests slash friends that are driving up from Florida that might have a seat. Uh, we we just can't help you with hotel and travel cost just the oh, uh, down here travel cost just the bag and panel there's also a few after parties that you can go to big fan of your work thanks for reaching out and that was Justin Silverman the event coordinator of too many games they probably should have um, rubbed out his um, discord and skype because you don't want people like contacting him and stuff but oh well it was an old email anyway. Um, did I? Okay, yeah. This is him with his Sonic Youth standee. This is basically, basically his like own personal booth. He has like the standee there, and he's got the classic. Look how torn up and ripped it is. It's probably not been washed as well. Look how scraggly its hair is. It just looks really bad, very bad. Uh, let's actually go to the. Yeah. Um, Bowser and Rob Robotnik panel on day two. Chris attended the Bowser v Rob Robotnik, a panel hosted by Mike Pillock and Kenny James, the voices of Dr. Robotnik and Bowser, re respectively. Based on the video's introduction, it suggests that the hosts were allowed members of the audience to roast them, given Chris's history with his Sonic Sonic franchise. Chris took the opportunity to interact with, with Pillock and as well as plug his own franchise. Chris stated that Eggman should return to using his original robotic name as the reverse of the current as the as the reverse of his current name sounds like now nah, I'm gay. Okay. Um uh, this video is actually on YouTube. If you look up Chris Chan too many games um, you actually find this video I'm not gonna play it because I just cringe with it all the time it's like it's, it, I hate seeing people make a fool of themselves so I'm not gonna I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna play it but you can you can see it just like type in that and you'll be able to see it um, oh wait a minute oh we got like a transcript here I was wondering what that was so Chris says Ah, oh, oh, Mike, you're gonna m make a dream of Mike come true because I enjoyed every scene where Sonic gets to inf insult Eggman, and I've got one that I've came up with recently, and just want Eggman's reaction to be the way. But by the way, Chris holds up a copy of Sonic U number ten to Pillock. Okay. Ah, my Sonic In case you don't know, I'm the creator of the original yellow, but I transform into this one, and I'm in co and I'm encountering Eggman and Bowser. Chris guesses to Kenny Games on stage. Can can laugh if he wants to, if he likes it. 
So Eggman, let's talk to a moment. You like word play or write? And then Chris laughs. So I've got good, good reason for you to go back to uh, calling yourself a Robotnik because spells was backwards. You say Eggman, that's saying now nah, I'm gay. You split you split it up a bit further. It sounds like nah, gay and at least Kill no bot. Okay, that's like um, it's spelled backwards, isn't it? Sounds more sophisticated than that. So what? So what do you have to say for you now? Say for yourself, Nick. Name me. Net name G. Oh, things back. You love saying things backwards, isn't he? And then Mike Pillick says, "Well, believe. Well, I believe in William Shakespeare said it better than he did. What's in the name?" what's in her name uh, that which called a rose by any, by any other name would smell as sweet and then Chris does a creepy laugh audience laughs and applause as Chris takes a bell and that was um oh we actually got the drawing here this is the um, drawing in, in, in question uh, you got another video here again I'm not going to play it because um, Again, another reason why I don't like playing these videos because I don't really like the video to go too long. And you got the but there's the reaction to um to um Pellet's response right there if you want to see it. Um, let's have a look at this picture. Oh, oh, is it gone? Okay, there it is. Okay, this is a picture. Take it in, and that was the picture. Previously identifying as a lesbian a year before. Chris's na name McGee roast using homosexuality as a insult hawks back to his early years of it of his of the internet discovery of him when Weens accused him of being gay to get a rise out of him. Seemingly Chris ne never never gave a second thought that his middle school t tier rose would be labelled as inappropriate by the LGBT community he belongs to. Satisfied with his witty statement, Chris took the paper and drew it into a universal, a universal rep rep representation of Chris Clan, Sonic, featuring Chris Clan, Sonic, Robotnik, and Bowser. Uh, so that was that charade. <laughs> Kissing fans. This is a short bit. Chris posed with, me with many fans of photos he has done at BronyCon and Madfest. Oh, he did it at them ones as well. I thought this was the only one. Oh, pose, not kiss them. Okay. However, this time, after the idea guys manipulated Chris into thinking of himself as a bisexual, Chris began the habit of kissing men on the cheek, as he did to Codzip and his friend. Chris thought it would be fine to kiss attendees on the cheek after posing with him. No, it is not. That is sexual assault. You shouldn't do that. And you got them the video here of that as well, which I'll probably play at the end of the um, video. I'll, I'll see. He thought one. Kicked out, yeah, kissing the um, kissing his followers. Um, actually got him kicked out. So, so long short story. So long, so long. Okay, so long story short. Chris Cam was kissing and getting too intimate with con attendees without their consent. Staff gave her multiple warnings to stop and she didn't listen. She was 100% in the wrong and she deserved to be removed from the convention as she broke the rules. And that was Gab 50 Yen explained the situation. On day 2, as a result of being handsy with kissing and, with and kissing attendees, Chris was, Chris was kicked out of the convention. He reacted by having a mental break, uh, by having a, a meltdown in the venue, curling up on the floor in the fetal position. Security was brought to escort Kiss out. And you got a video here, which I will play soon. These are only short ones, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Chris's thoughts. I just made College Phil Bakery 20% cooler with my presence. TMG's. I think there's too many games lost their their gain. I suggested a new pizza, the Sonic Who's app. Chris's tweet after being phoned out. Okay. Several hours later, 
Chris tweeted claiming that staff that con staff not giving him a verbal warning before kicking out I bet I'm pretty sure they did um uh, wait a minute who's actually saying this uh, I'll read it anyway apologies Oh wait, okay, this must have been him. All right. Apologies to the hashtag too many games convention goers, especially at f at yen fifty yen at gab fifty yen. I didn't notice I had multiple warnings to stop making physical contact with people, taking pictures with me until after I've been asked to leave. They only sent out the warnings on Facebook Messenger. Which that would have been really weird for a big um convention to do. Uh, they would have just like told you in person. That's what I would do. Is like, I wouldn't just reach out on Facebook because you're not checking your phone all the time when you're at conventions. You're busy like interacting with people. Um, the Facebook warning was don't kiss anyone. Someone complained. Any problems and we'll have your bag pulled. Cool. The, uh, on the other hand, according to Gab50 again, who's close friends of the staff, they, they said they have they uh, they have given Chris face to face warnings okay so they did okay next day Chris backtracked trying to justify his actions and showing he learnt nothing one question what is wrong with this world to peck on the keep by from a celebrity that, that one likes positively mind you it's, it is not offensive to me what really ticks me off that any displays of likes and affection is is viewed as taboo and more offensive than bloody gory violence. And how how do you, do I feel after all all of the love and positively positivity I have been finding and giving back and sharing about? It all turned around against me in one fell swoop. I feel emotionally hang hung over and feel like a load of crap. I I am going to tell I am going to tell all of you hate to troll something right now I will remain optimistic and open hearted I am not going to fail or fall yes fail I have the love of the real positive and kind people and fans I I have and I have love of my partners Maggie Can Chriselle Sylvania and Mewtwo here. They're 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 um her um fake um husbands. Um, he's n he's not really married. He just made up in his head. He he just thinks that he's married. Uh, they're all right here with me, and di and they're directly offline communicating with me always. And more importantly, I love them all, and they love me truly. This is real, R real. Years later, Chris compared the ban incident to his December 2019 temper tantrum about Project ST SNT design of his character, saying there's something deeper than the redesigns that is that sets off my subcon subconscious worse than the moment at too many games where I went hedgehog worse than that. Okay. Um, Right, let's actually have a look at this. This is like the um, artist rep 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 representation of his like defense curl ball thing. So there's that. Um, so personal space talk. Got a quote here. I need not to be reminded of the worst part, but my hedgehog defensive state and all the tears that and leaking mute. Oh God, ill. From my whole body, body paralysis, what happened to me, then there will be ha haunted to a mind of that. I said that completely garbled up. Um, so Joshua Moon posted in a com com conversation he had with Chris about the incident, which he which he warned Chris about the possible ramifications of his behaviour. Notably, the moment he exceeded the hurtful truth level, Chris reacted by drifting off to his imaginary land, posting a lengthy debate about the CPU goddess, which is translated here. So we got a bit of a translation thing going. 
So Gilk says, did you remember to ship them items from Murky People 4? Chris replied, good afternoon Gilk, I will be shipping out three, fo three photographs today. They need three bubble envelopes. Have you heard back from the people at BronyCon about up, up, upgrading my weekend pass on the complimentary? I feel better, but but getting up was rough. And Josh said after that, I've not heard back from BronyCon, though you need to be aware of what happened at too many games. So I, did Chris actually go to BronyCon after that? Because I can't remember if he went or not. Might get you banned from BronyCon Prematurely, I can't say that word. If it happens again, you will end up on the global con blacklist, stopping you from going to too many, going to any cons ever again. The touchy feely stuff is very serious, and if it happens to the wrong person, getting banned from the con is your least concern. They might press sexual assault charges, which sometimes which is sometimes years in prison. That is true. You can actually sue someone for touching you up if it's without your consent. Chris replied to that, we got a long passage to, to speak. I am more aware of that now, my lips kept to myself, but I kept to myself. Hey, I'm feeling better yet still recovering. I I want to let you know on something, I was sent, I was sent to too many games to learn more about the positive, the, 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 the possible return of Tari and Reg, uh, Reg, blah, 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 being up to something with the Atari VCU, the CPU's conscience. Oh, this is gonna. Is. Is this gonna be about that bloody Atari thing that that other guy was worshiping, worshiping as a god? Is it really gonna be about that? Because I don't really want to read about that. Because it's like, oh. I'm gonna have to read about it, isn't it? The C the CPU's suspicions were correct from what we were able to get from what I learned during my time there. Amy Rose stayed the remainder of the convention <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> to attend the remaining events. She listened and talked and gossip gossiped. Um we we uh, we need to make the presence of the nation of comma oh yeah, he's talking about the merge again. And the CPUs of the Commodore consoles, Scarlet, Speedfire, and Ride e e everywhere. Her memories has been disposed into someone, to someone in this world of ours. Scarlet Kid is compassionate. She is the counter to rewrites. Should be, a, should and then we attempt something to. Yeah, I'm I'm grabbing them a word there because. Chris speak is very confusing. Um, you can read it if you want. You can read it off the actual page on there, but I'm not going to read um, Chris's bit right there because it's confusing, and I'm even garbling my words, reading what his garbled words what looks like. And it's about the Commodore system being a god or something. I I don't know. <sighs> Anyway, Glock says after that, it's not just kissing. Someone claims I don't know if it's true, but someone claims that you squeezed squeeze their butt as well. That kind of thing, even a rumor, puts you puts you at risk of being banned from BronyCon and other cons in advance. I can't help you if that happens. It also scares away people who buy stuff from you. No one will buy medallions or drawings. They will if they, if they think you don't respect personal space. Because keep it in mind, this is something I I can't magic away, and and is way more serious than trespassing or bumping Snyder. So Chris replies, "Good morning." Okay, this that might be um the next morning. Good morning, Josh. I assure you, I've never squeezed or touched anyone's butt at all. But I do understand all that. Believe me, I have. I've not been reminded of the worst part, but my hedgehog defensive state and all the tears. Oh, this is that quote again. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to read that because um, I read that in the quote. 
Gus says, all right, be careful in the future, but if it's anything other than putting a hand on the race to ask first, people will forgive it and forget if the, if the next con goes well. Hopefully, Bronicon still lets you go. Chris says, no problem, I am positive and it will be good. Okay then. So, this is from Justin Silverman's accounts of it. Um, on June 20, 27th, event coordinator Justin Silverman consulted with a quickie e editor to clarify his role into bringing too many Chris to too many games and giving his side of the story. Whenever staff warned Chris before kicking him out to advocate his claims, he attached unseen photographs of Chris's melt meltdown. So, um, so this the red will be Justin Silverman um, accounts and what happened. Wanted to change something, and I didn't want to register or whatever. I don't blame him. <laughs> you, you don't have to register to um, read stuff. Um, on the Too Many Games page, I, I'm brought up, but it's referenced by a Quickie Farms thread. Figured out I'd give you the first-hand info. And so you know I'm real. So we got some photos here. So let's just bring them up. Um, so we can view for later. It says I'm a supervisor for too many games. Likely Justin Silverman of Silvermania. <coughs> a vang for Chris to have a booth at the con and selling his autographs. Four. Oh, that's just a number. But in fact, there has been no booth promised or given. No panel, time meetup. Or, or sanctioned anything just a bag I gave her a bag because she was coming anyways I knew GoFundMe would go through and figured that if I messaged her, messaged her about giving her free anything she would respond that way I'd be in close contact I could meet her and talk I could meet and talk to her directly face warn her face to face I did I did she even screwed up many times and had my security team s step in. We tried to do this in private, but she froze up, hit the floor. EMTs tried to help but with no luck. Thankfully, Gab and a sympathetic mother of a autistic child were there. They defused the situation. Mind you, hundreds of people were stuck in the traffic. Please en route. Almost got ugly, but only telling you only telling you this because I don't want anyone to think we condone this or whatever. I figured she'd be a problem, but I wanted her to but I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. Since Magfest was fine six months ago, live and learn. Post wherever you want or nothing. It's blown over right now. Thanks for what you do. Uh, it was actually really sad in real life, like. Like I get it, so one big joke online and people hate her guts like and like to troll. But in person but in person in but this person in their autistic shell on the carpet was truly upsetting. I wish she got I wish she, she got the help she needs. But we cut ties completely. Thanks anyway. Okay, so let's actually have a look at these um pictures right here. Just bring them up. Okay, yeah, we got a coordinator there, event coordinator, um, basically letting people buy, and Chris Can is <coughs> doing the old praying to Mecca state, <laughs> and this is of another angle. This must be likely a autistic cloud mother. Uh, this guy right here, I don't know if he's in the other one. Uh, no. Uh, this is of like Chris's friend who who was with him throughout the um, convention. I'm pretty sure, but yeah, she looks like she just fed up and just wants to get on. Um, so now, two days later, after s just having discover discovered the quickie post of Justin's admission, Chris completely severed their social ties, social media ties, and responded. How how, uh, hey cowardly jerk at Justin Silverman or Justy Silverman. I warned her face to face. No, you did not. You cowardly, you ca coward behind Facebook. D 
during this time and I was very unlikely to look at my phone and I did have it on silent I just spat on my screen Good. I did have it on silent you are lucky I have a big big heart and kindness otherwise I'll do worse now okay so threats there's, there's a good start Silverman replied at Carity Kirkus and Silverman here I warned you the first I, I have warned you when you first came in you agreed to what I said staff said you were warned as well sorry I had to face that messenger couldn't find you among the 15k attendees yeah that's true is that there, if there's like loads of it of um attendees and you it'll be a nightmare to find one person especially if they're moving about a lot also you tweeted this seconds after liking half my post on facebook <clears throat> chris replied to that my liking of your recent posts were separate to what happened last saturday and you warned me not to use my bat against it he had a bat really he had a weapon <laughs> you did not say kiss anyone uh, to me right there you should have found me at around 11 a.m. time borrowed me for a moment and told me then yet where was he at 11 p. 11 a.m. instead you were warning me through Facebook Messenger during the time I I was very unable to look at my phone you should have done your job better at the, gra the grade I the grade I give you for how you did I would have given you two out of five Un under mediocre well you think about that dude you had your chance to do a job right and you f epic failed wow Chris being an absolute arsehole right there <coughs> he's just doing his job come on now don't be a dick 20 minute minutes later Chris had an abrupt shift in his tone oh god this could be fine by the way everyone I do not accept I I do accept the fact I I do accept that I in fact kiss a lot of fans and who hugged me there on on the face cheeks okay weird phasing right there I was opening myself up more to ev everyone I really had no idea it was a bad thing it was a bad thing to a lot of individuals and and for offending those with my kisses I'm really sorry and from now on I promise to keep my lips to myself from now on unless the other person requests a kiss on the face kick from me period please forgive and forget that yeah no one will forget that and let us move on with our lives I have learnt the lesson all too well and thanks to at Justy Silverman, that lesson will not be forgotten any any time soon or later. Thank you all. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, it will not be forgotten. <coughs> oh boy, we got a lot of photos. Um. Okay, so right, let's skip through them here. Let's just open them up. Um. So yeah, this is the end of it. I'm gonna be showing some photos and some videos. Okay, there we are. So we're gonna show Liam defense curl videos and the kissing a fan videos in this one. We're not gonna show all of them. So this is him, well Chris with this is um Justin Silverman, Liam coordinator. I wonder if he still works there by the way. Probably does. I don't know. But if he's like an event coordinator he he probably like be a, a coordinating other events um in his time, so yeah this is of Chris's friend here I kind of forgot what his name was does it actually say I'll find it later this is of a attendee Sonic used car right let's actually have a look at them stickers for a minute <coughs> Atlas Comics SPCA uh, Girl Kick Ass, uh, Derby Dames, The Games End, Love Brown. Oh, he's got Ford Focus. So, yeah, Ford's a shit. Come on. This sticker looks like it's about to peel off. Virginia Sonic. I wonder how much money that costs to get a personalised number plate like that. I mean, I have number plates personalised before and it does actually cost a lot. Right, let's go for this. 
this person had the decency to censor herself out because she obviously did not want to be with um, Chris at the time. Uh, here is a um, a something. Oh, there's Chris is playing right there. Okay, it's playing like Halo and stuff. Here's Chris Clan at a panel. You can see all the scraggly hair. With another person right there. With another one. With, oh God, it, he looks like a swamp monster. Like looming over someone. Seriously. Trying to like kidnap his prey. Forgotten Freshness Classic Gaming. Hmm. Uh, we've got another one there. Another one looks like an artist. Uh, Chris is walking somewhere. Oh, this is another angle of the meltdown. Right there, you got some. What's what? What's this say? What's this? What's the, I'm interested. What is it? Um, something club. I can't zoom in better than that. I cannot zoom in. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let me just do that. There you go. Might be able to read it better. Um, October something. Yeah, the writing's still a bit blurry. It looks like another convention. Yeah, it looks like another convention. It, it might be. And this is of another um, area. And that's the police turning up um, to arrest him. <clears throat> he didn't he didn't actually get arrested they just let him go anyway uh what are we on okay it's not bad it's not bad right let's actually have a look at the videos i uh, guess two of a few of them not not uh, not all of them <laughs> wow I hope he bleached his face after that because no one wants Chris Germs on him um, <clears throat> he's a really short I've seen him loads of times Chris's meltdown Thank you. <laughs> wow and the same same thing but a bit longer picking that up thinking what the fuck is this Yeah, it's enough of that. Um, so yeah, that was um, those are too many games reading. That was interesting, very interesting. I never read that one before. Um, so it's interesting to read. Um, but anyway, <coughs> if you want to read this for yourself, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just put the um, I'll just put it in the um, in the description. To be fair. I'll have it in the description. Um, next time, tomorrow, um, I think I'm gonna have like a normal vlog or something there because it's Sunday. It's normally like a vlog Sunday, uh, and I'll have an up update for you um, sometime next week about what happens next month. So yeah, this has been the quickie reading of too many games. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you want to leave, leave me a like and subscribe. Really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time in another video.